Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have 6666 whole square minus 3333 whole square and uh, we can just simplify this algebraic expression into the simplified form uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we will show all of the working on this paper and I hope so you like this method uh, and here I can just do all of the calculations and all of the multiplications uh, in our mind without using the calculator or without using this paper. You see here we will do all of this multiplication on here. And I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to discuss this method uh, into the comment section. So here first we can apply uh, this nice uh, algebraic expression if you have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b and here we call this is our a and this is our b so when you uh, apply this nice formula to the above term so that our above term is written as uh, you know, first you have a minus b the value of a is 6666 minus the value of b is 3333 into 6666 plus 3333 here we can just apply this nice formula and here when you subtract these two values you see here 6 minus 3 equals to 3 this 6 minus this 6 minus this 3 equals to 3 this 6 minus this 3 equals to 3 this 6 minus 3 equals to 3 into here when you add these values you get 6 plus 3 becomes 9 this 6 plus 3 becomes 9 this 6 plus this 3 is also 9 this 6 plus this 3 also becomes here 9 and now we uh, rewrite uh, both of these values as so we write this term as uh, 1111 multiplied by 3 we write this term as 1111 multiplied by 9 so here we multiply just this term with this term and it will be written as 1111 whole square and it is multiplied by 3 times of 9 equals to 27. And now here in the next step we need to break this value and uh, in order to uh, take the square of this term it means that we will just multiply 1111 is multiplied by 1111 is also multiplied by 27 so uh, in the next step here we need to break this value and it will be written as so first we write our first value uh, as it is we have 1111 we break this value as 1000 plus 100 and plus 10 plus 1 okay so here we can multiply it with 27 so now in the next step we need to multiply this term with all of these values and uh, you see here it will be written as 1111 multiplied by 1000 plus 1111 multiplied by 100 plus 1111 multiplied by 10 plus 1111 when you multiply it with 1 it is also becomes 1111 and it is multiplied by 27 so uh, now here in the next step we need more simplifications and you see here when you multiply 1111 with 1000 it will be written as 1111 and you can just take three zeros here you will just add these two zeros on here it is written as four times of one and zero zero plus when you add this 0 here it will be written as 1 1 1 and 0 and this is our 1 1 and 1 at the last we multiply it with 27 so here in the next step we need to first sum up all of these values uh, so when you add this 0 plus 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and plus 1 equals to 1 so this is 0 plus 0 plus 1 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 becomes 2 this 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 okay so you get 0 plus 1 is 1 2 and 3 
we write 3 here then 1 plus this one is 2 and plus this one is 3 and plus this one is 4 and at the last we have this 1 plus this one is 2 and plus this one is 3 and we have this 1 plus 1 is 2 and this 1 is remains so you get here 1 2 3 4 and 3 2 1 okay so here in the next step we need to multiply this number with the 27 so you see here this is a, a very nice number uh, 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 okay so we multiply this uh, number with 27 in order to multiply this number with 27 we write this 27 as this is 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 and we rewrite this 27 as 20 plus 7 and here we will multiply this number both of these values and it will be written as 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 multiplied by 20 and plus 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 multiplied by 7 in the next step our next claim is to just multiply these two values and finally we will add these values and we will get our final answer so here first we consider this is our one digit number this is our two digits number so when you multiply this 0 with this complete number we will get 0 when you multiply this 0 with this complete number you get 2 1s are 2 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 and 2 1s are 2 and plus here we multiply this 7 with these values you get 7 1s are 7 7 2 is a 14 we write 4 and carry 1, 7, 3 is a 21, 21 plus 1, 22, we write 2 and carry 2, 7, 4 is a 28, 28 plus 2 becomes 30, we write 0 and carry 3, 7, 3 is a 21, 21 plus 3, 24, we write 4 and carry 2, 7, 2 is a 14, 14 plus 2 is 16, we write 6 and carry 1, 7, 1 is a 7, 7 plus 1 becomes here 8. And now here in the last step we need to add these two values so you see here this 0 plus 7 equals to 7 this 2 plus 4 becomes 6 this 4 plus 2 becomes 6 this 6 plus 0 equals to 6 8 plus 4 is 12 we write 2 and carry 1 and this 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 1 uh, is uh, 12 plus 1 is 13 we write 3 and carry 1 this 4 plus 8 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 we write 3 and carry 1 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so we get here our final answer is in this form so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos